Hi everybody, this is Heather with the Eastern Panhandle Conservation District and we are continuing to celebrate Pollinator Week. Uh, so we have another book uh, on pollinators and this one is titled Caterpillars and Butterflies. And this is by Stephanie Turnbull. Amazing insects. Butterflies are flying insects with beautiful wings. They begin life as caterpillars. This is a peacock butterfly. The spots on its wing looks like the marks of a peacock's tail. Tiny eggs. Butterflies lay eggs on leaves and twigs. The eggs are so sticky that they don't fall off. Can you see the little tiny eggs? And some butterflies lay more than a thousand eggs in just a few weeks. Many eggs have a thick, rough covering. A caterpillar is growing inside each egg. They will be ready to hatch in a few days. Butterfly eggs come in all different shapes. Some look like round pearls. Other eggs are long and thin. And a few hang like beads on a string. Hatching out. A caterpillar bites a hole in its egg and wiggles out. This cabbage white caterpillar is hatching. You can see other tiny caterpillars still inside their eggs. You can see this one is hatching out and these two are still in their egg. First, a caterpillar eats its eggs. This gives it energy. It's still hungry, so it eats the leaf that the egg was on. Then it moves to eat more leaves from the same plant. Caterpillars have strong jaws. They can munch through a leaf in seconds. We even got a little bumblebee buzzing around me right now, eating all of the, the white clover. Lots of legs. All caterpillars have 16 legs. This is an emperor moth caterpillar. The front six legs are stiff and pointed for grabbing food. So we have one, two, three, four, and then five, six over here. The other legs are fatter. They have suckers for clinging onto the stalks and twigs. So the front part of the body stretches out and then the back part lifts up and it moves up to the front feet. So think of like an inchworm, how an inchworm moves. Stay away. Birds and insects like to eat caterpillars. Many caterpillars have patterns on their body to help them hide. This geometrin moth caterpillar looks just like a twig. Can you see that? You can't even tell. Some caterpillars make a horrible smell that keeps other animals away. Many caterpillars try to look scary to frighten away their enemies. Pus mouth caterpillars rear up to look big and fierce. That looks pretty scary. Sweet oil caterpillars eat poisonous plants. This makes them taste bad to birds. Big eaters. Caterpillars eat all the time. They find a plant they like and eat it until it's all gone. These caterpillars are called large whites. They only like to eat cabbage leaves. Caterpillars soon grow so fat that their skin is too tight and it starts to split. They wriggle out of the old skin. Underneath is a new stretchy skin. The swallowtail caterpillar has a brand new skin. It leaves the old skin behind. Most caterpillars change their skin four times. Each time, the patterns are more interesting. It's time to change. Soon, caterpillars are ready to turn into butterflies. First, a caterpillar finds a safe, sheltered place. So underneath this leaf. It hangs upside down using hooks on its body. Its skin splits and falls off. Underneath is the new skin. The skin gets harder and harder until it's like a case. The hard case is called a pupa. A pupa hangs without moving for weeks. Inside, a beautiful butterfly is growing. Some caterpillars hide inside a rolled up leaf before they turn into a pupa. A new body. When butterflies are fully grown, they are ready to break out of their pupa. You can see this butterfly's wings. A butterfly slowly pushes itself out of its pupa, then it stops to rest. Its wings are pale, damp, and crumpled. 
Butterflies have to let their wings dry out before they can fly. This monarch butterfly must wait a few hours for its wings to spread out and get stiffer. Butterflies don't grow after they've hatched. They'll stay this size for the rest of their life. Up and away. Butterflies are always moving around. They never stay still for long. All butterflies have four big wide wings. So we have one, two, three, four. They flap all four wings together. The wings are covered in tiny scales. You can see them under a microscope. So this is what the butterfly wing looks like under a microscope. Some butterflies flap their wings 70 times per second. So what's a moth? A moth looks a lot like a butterfly, but it's not quite the same. This emperor moth has smaller, narrower wings than a butterfly. Hawk moths can fly much faster than you can run. Most moths fly at night when there are not so many enemies around. This is a Madagas Madagascan moth. Moths have fat, furry bodies to keep them warm on cold nights. They also have feathery feelers that can sense objects in the dark. Feeding. Butterflies and moths feed on juices from flowers or fruit. Instead of a mouth, they have a long, thin tube called a proboscis. And you might also hear, hear some people say proboscis. They drink through it like a straw. So right there. Asian vampire moths can prick an animal's skin and drink its blood. Now that is kind of scary. The proboscis is usually curled up like this. and uncurls when the butterfly drinks. When butterflies are thirsty, they often suck up drops of water from the damp ground. So that's what they're doing. If you see them near a mud puddle or a puddle, they're drinking up the water. Because they get thirsty like us. Vanishing act. Lots of animals like to eat butterflies. Some butterflies have patterns that help them hide. If this leaf butterfly keeps still, enemies think it's just a leaf. Glasswinged butterflies have see-through wings, which makes them hard to spot. This hair streak butterfly is easy to see as it flies. Its wings are green underneath so it can hide when it lands. So even though it looks like this when it's flying, when it lands, it blends right in. This orange tip butterfly looks like the flowers it feeds on. Showing off. Some butterflies are poisonous, so they don't need to hide from enemies. Bright markings on this swallowtail butterfly warn animals that it tastes bad. Some butterflies have big spots like eyes on their wings to make them look scary. These butterflies both look poisonous to animals, but the one on the left is harmless. It copies the poisonous butterfly's patterns. This moth has a fat body and small wings. Enemies think it's a bee and leave it alone. Big and small. Butterflies and moths come in all shapes and sizes. Atlas moths are the biggest moths in the world. Each of their wings is wider than the page of this book. And you can see how big this book is. See, there's my hand on each side. That's huge. The smallest butterfly is called a pygmy blue. This is its real size. So this is the real size of the pygmy blue. And then remember that the atlas moth is bigger than this book. This is a zebra swallowtail butterfly. Many swallowtails have long wings that make them look bigger. This helps to protect them from enemies. Birds often snap at the butterfly's dangling tails instead of its body. The butterfly has a chance to escape. Losing a bit of its wing doesn't hurt. So if you wanted to find out more information on butterflies, you could visit these links here. And that's the end of Caterpillars and Butterflies. Hope you enjoyed.